Good morning, Year 2. It's great to see you for our next English lesson. So today, the date is Tuesday, the 23rd of February, 2021. And the learning objective is respond to the text. So please pause the video here and write the date and learning objective in your English book. Well done, Year 2. So let's have a look at our learning journey this week. So yesterday, we engaged with book talk about Billy and the Beast and you wrote some amazing predictions on what might happen in the story. Today we're going to be moving on to listening to the story as I share it with you and responding to the text by answering some questions and there's a couple of challenge activities that you might like to engage with and then tomorrow we're going to be moving on to describing the terrible beast which you'll find out more about today. So we're about to begin story time as I share with you Billy and the Beast by Nadia Sherbin, who you can see in this picture here. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you can see the pictures in the book and I hope you've got a comfy spot year two. So Billy and the Beast. Billy and Fat Cat were walking through the forest which was something they liked to do now and then. They stomped and crunched and splashed and jumped. They said, hello, to Hedgehog. Hello, to Fox. Hello, to the mice. And hello, to the adorable little bunny rabbits. It was a perfectly lovely day. But suddenly, there was a terrible rumble. What do you think the rumble might be here to? It was Fat Cat's tummy. Uh-oh, said Billy, who knew he'd need a snack as soon as possible. So she rummaged around in her hair. Billy kept all sorts of stuff in her hair. It was very useful for stashing things in like donuts. Here you go, Fat Cat, she said. Then Billy and Fat Cat walked back through the forest. They said goodbye to Hedgehog. Oh, hang on. Where was Hedgehog? Where was Fox? Where were the mice? And where were the adorable little bunny rabbits? But before Billy had a chance to say, how strange. Everything went dark. Hey, shouted Billy. Whoever you are, you'd better let us out of here right now. Billy and Fat Cat were dumped on the ground with a thud and they saw a very big thing. Who are you? asked Billy. I am a terrible beast, said the terrible beast. Billy was not impressed. Why have you taken us? She asked. Because I am making a big pot of terrible soup, said the terrible beast. And I need all sorts of unusual ingredients. Let's have a look at his recipe here, year two. It says terrible soup, one chopped onion, one grated hedgehog, one tablespoon spicy mice, one bushy foxtail, three adorable little bunny rabbits, and it says more, which suggests there's more ingredients on the other side of the recipe. And sure enough, then they saw hedgehog, fox, the mice, and the adorable little bunny rabbits. None of them looked especially happy to be there. Right, what's for the pot? Hooted the beast. Oh, yum, grated hedgehog. Well, Billy couldn't just stand by and let the terrible beast eat everyone up. She had to think fast. 
Excuse me, Mr. Terrible Beast, she said. But I think you'll find that grated hedgehog is much too spiky. You'll get an itchy mouth and a prickly bottom. Here, try this delicious pine cone instead. The terrible beast eyed the pine cone with suspicion. He had a think. Hmm, he said. A prickly bottom, you say? Right, I'll give it a try. Now, what's next for the pot? Growled the beast. Oh, delicious spicy mice. This didn't sound good for the mice. Billy had to think fast again. These mice look really old and sick and horrible. If you put them in your pot, you'll definitely get a tummy ache. Have a look at what's happened to the mice here. The beast looked at the mice. He wasn't keen on having a tummy ache. Fine, he huffed. Well, What's next on the list? Oh, a nice big bushy foxtail. Things were looking bleak for Fox. Billy had to think even faster. Ugh, said Billy. Foxtails are muddy and boring. Try something bright and bushy instead. Oh, said the terrible monster with sparkles too. And he popped the duster in the pot. Suddenly, there was a terrible rumble. It was the beast's tummy. I am so hungry, growled the beast. And when I get hungry, I get angry. These adorable little bunny rabbits are going into my soup and nobody is going to stop me. Billy knew she had to stop him. These bunny rabbits are not adorable, she said. They are actually quite terrifying. I mean, just look. The beast had to agree. The bunny rabbits did look terrifying. Fine, but there's still one more ingredient on my list, said the beast, and it's the most important one of all. So we're about to see the next page. What do you think the most important ingredient might be here too? A perfectly ripe, plump and delicious fat cat. Billy gasped. <gasps> this was the final straw. Hey, she shouted. The recipe doesn't say that. It says you need two big, smelly, beastie feet. So as you can see here, this is the terrible beast um, recipe which does show the fat cat that Billy has crossed out fat cat and changed it to two big smelly beastie feet. Well, said the beast, where am I meant to get those from? And Billy pointed down to the beast's horrible sweaty toes. Oh yes, said the beast, that's lucky. And he leaped into the steaming pot like a fool. And then the adorable little bunny rabbit slammed down the lid with impressive force, which surprised everyone. Slam. They all watched the terrible beast bounce down the hills, never to be seen again. Then suddenly, there was a terrible rumble. What do you think the terrible rumble is here too? 
but it was only Fat Cat's tummy again. Hmm, there aren't any more snacks in my hair, Fat Cat, Billy said. Let's all go home and get some chips. So they stomped and crunched and splashed and jumped all the way home. So I hope you enjoyed the story of Billy and the Beast Year Two. I'm just going to share my screen with you all again as I can share with you the next activity. So first of all, thinking about the story I've just shared with you, it would be great to engage with some book talk at home or in the classroom. So I've got some suggestions here for you. Share favourite pages and talk about them. So you might want to rewind the video. You could start off by saying, I like this page because. Look to see if you can spot the terrible beast lurking, ready to pounce in the first double spread page spread. So again, you might want to go back in the video. You might like to talk about the ways Billy tricked the terrible beast. And there's a couple of questions here to prompt your discussions. What sort of things would you store in your hair if you were Billy? And what would you like to say to the terrible beast or to Billy if you met them? So it'd be great to pause the video here and engage in book talk before you answer some quick questions independently. Well done, you two, great discussions. Okay, on your screen now, you can see some text, which I'd love you to read independently, either in the classroom or to the adult at home that you're, you're working with, if, you're work, if someone at home is helping you. This text here is of Billy and the Beast, but it's a short snippet, so it's shorter than the story I shared with you. And it's just towards the beginning of the story. So I'd like you to pause the video here and read this part of the text. Well done, you two, super reading. And now on your screen, you can see some questions which I'd like you to answer in your English book. So we have vocabulary Victor who wants to know this question. What word tells you that the terrible beast soup is made of strange ingredients? So you're looking for one word in the text. We have sequencing Suki who wants to know Number the boxes one to three to show the order that they happen in. As you haven't got this, you could write the sentences in order, numbering them one, two, three. We have Rex Retriever who wants to know, why has the terrible beast taken Billy and Fat Cat? So of course, you know this answer as I've shared the story with you so you can retrieve that information. And then we have Predicting Pip. Who wants to know what will Billy do next? Of course, you can use your prediction skills, but also withdraw meaning from the story that I've shared with you today. So please pause the video here and complete these questions in your English book. Well done, you two. I'm really proud of you. So if you would like to engage with a couple challenge activities this morning, the first one is Nadia, Nadia says, Having characters in your book that are totally the opposite, like a little mouse and a massive dragon can make the story really fun. What characters would you create that are opposite to each other? So the task is to draw and write a short description of your choice of characters. Another challenge that you might like to engage with today is this. A key theme in the story is friendship. And this double spread here shows pictures of Billy and Fat Cat who have a great friendship. So the activity for this challenge is to create a friendship recipe. What are the ingredients of a good friendship? What do you need most of? What do you need least of? So if you would like to engage with these challenges, I look forward to seeing them on Class Dojo. And last of all, here are the answers from the questions that you've solved today, if you would like to review your learning. Well done, year two. I hope that you enjoyed story time and I hope that you had fun responding to the questions and engaging with the challenges if you chose to do those too. Well done, year two. I'm really proud of you.